Hey everybody, this is Eric Stark with the Smart RVer Podcast presenting Fast Tip Friday number six. Today we're going to be talking about the Camco Olympian heaters. If you have one, you know how great they work. If you don't have one, well, you're missing out. These things are awesome. So these come in three different sizes. It's the Wave 3, 6, and 8. So Wave 3, which is the smallest one, it covers 1,600 to 3,000 square, or excuse me, the square footage is 100 square feet. <laughs> and then the Wave 6 is 200. 200 square feet and the wave 8 covers 290 square feet so basically that's going to get you from about a 12 foot trailer to an 18 foot to a 23 foot approximately unless you're going to put it in part of the rv and just work on heating one section of it okay so now this also has legs that you can work with it i'm not going to take them out of the package they're stapled in there but they just mount underneath it one on each side just like so pretty simple pretty handy if you're not going to mount it to a wall now if you want to mount it to a wall it does have mounting options on the back Let me turn this puppy around so you got your holes here and here for screws for hanging it on you, know, you might decide only use two or all four i would probably use all four if you can get it lined up prep properly that way you know it's going to stay on there when you're going down the road and it also comes with this great template you can tape it to the wall it's got where you cut it and, mount, and uh, drill your holes for mounting everything you need there so that's pretty handy so it's nice they included that then of course all the instructions on how it works and some accessories on the back you can buy for it, like the legs, a propane line, a, a cover for it to keep the dust off of it. So what's really nice about these is they don't have a flame that comes up here. You have this element in here that just gets hot from a small flame at the bottom, but there's no flame shooting out. You can't catch anything on fire. Well, it'd be, you could, but it'd be pretty difficult. It's not gonna burn you if you walk by. So these things work great in RVs because RVs are so small. And so you're not having to walk around this thing and totally avoid it because it's putting out so much heat that it's dangerous. And it works off of propane, very simple. Now, you're gonna mount this in your RV, so you have to do a little planning on where you're gonna mount it and how you're gonna connect it to propane. I have a tank right here with a regulator on it. It does have to have a regulator or be regulated by the RV. It's a 3 8 female flare fitting that goes right onto the side of it. Pretty simple. So this fitting's a little tight, but it's going right on there, tight right in here, just the way the hose is made. So it goes right on, and this line, you would have to run it to a propane source. Now, depending on the RV, that may be easy, it may be difficult. But a lot of people will put it near the refrigerator or run the line to the refrigerator. You know, use the refrigerator as your propane source because you can just put a T on the back of it and run your propane line to it. And if the RV store where you're at or buy it from doesn't make propane hoses like we do, of course, here at Highway 93 RV. Oh, getting sidetracked. Most propane places can make a propane hose for you, a custom one, any size you need. It's not a real complicated hose. You know, you'd have, if it went to your refrigerator, you'd need a T, and each end of the line would have a 3 8 female flare on it, a swivel fitting, pretty simple. So back to the heater, that's the hookup. And like I said, this is just a bottle to show how basically it works, but tying into your RV would be a little bit different, <clears throat> but it's still just as easy. So like I said, they come in three different sizes. The Wave 3 is about this tall. The Wave 6 is up to here, a little bit wider. It's just the square footage that they heat. So keep in mind, there's no flame shooting out of here. It's not gonna start a fire. I mean, anything with the heat source is a fire hazard in, a, in itself, but it, you don't have to panic around this thing. It's safe with children, pets, you know, if you keep it up higher. Easy to ignite, you turn on the, the propane here, Hit the button and it ignites it and then flame goes right up and it starts heating instantly. And because it's propane, you don't have to worry about batteries going dead, using batteries up. And these are very economical. It's like your RV has a furnace in it, so this is going to save a lot of money compared to a furnace. 
But the, the one thing you have to keep in mind is some RVs, if you're in cold country where the water lines can freeze, the furnace you have will keep those water lines warm in a lot of cases. So you might still have to run your furnace to keep your water lines warm, and this can just be supplemental heat. Or if one, RV, one area of your RV is not getting hot enough, you could put this in there and bring it up to temperature, pretty simple. So these things are awesome to have. The Wave 6 is around a $500 item, plus your hose and whatever else you're gonna need to hook it up. Highly recommend looking at these. Even if you don't like the Camco brand or Olympian, you know, it's Camco Olympian, the same thing. There's other brands out there, but we sell the Camco one. Olympian has been making these forever, and Camco bought Olympian, you know, some time ago. So it's still a trusted product. You don't have to worry about it. Much safer, a better option than maybe some cheaper ones you can find on a certain platform on the internet. The Olympian is the way to go. All right, so I hope you appreciate that information. Certainly helpful, especially if you're gonna be camping in the wintertime where it's a lot colder, or even in the summertime, some areas where it cools down at night. Simple, effective way to get some heat in the RV. So this is Eric Stark with the Smart RVer Podcast presenting Fast Tip Friday number six, Olympian Heaters. Thanks for watching.